Do you collect Hot Toys figures? Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite pieces in your collection are. And if you don't collect Hot Toys, why not? <laughs> if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. This video we're going to get stuck right into. This is an unboxing of a Hot Toys Road One Thor. Right, so. I'm part of this like group on Facebook. It's like a raffle kind of group thing. Pay three pound for a ticket and then there's a hundred slots and whoever wins, wins whatever they want. They can pick like a, a Hot Toys or anything basically up to the kind of like the value of 300 pounds. I happen to win. So I picked this. I'm very excited about it because this is it's, it's so old now. You can't get it anywhere. And voila, inside the box we have road worn Thor. I'm so excited, so let's get him out and take a look. I mean, it's a pretty sexy box. It's a nice looking box. It's very, very 80s. I like all the colors on this box. You've got Thor's figure artwork on the front of the box. Uh, you've got the Thor uh, logo on the side and there's all the information on the back. I'm not gonna read out the information on the back, but this is a Hot Toys exclusive, and this was for Thor Ragnarok. Now, Thor Ragnarok was one of the best Marvel movies. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. It was so funny and completely different to any other Thor movie they've released before, and I loved it. It makes sense that this is the only Thor Hot Toys that I have. I love Thor. Chris Hemsworth is hot, and you know, it's good to have 12 inches of Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Craig gave me a look. Ah, oh, right, so here is the box with like everything inside. He has the two different Mjolnirs. Mjolnir. 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 Thor's hammer. There's two of them in this box. One of them lights up and does some stuff with some lightning, and the other one is just standard and plain. But this is from the beginning of the movie when he was like road worn and just looking very good. He was like caught in that net thing or something. Anyway, right, so first accessories we've got here are this skull. I can't remember the name of the demon monster thing that he was fighting, but there's like the skull of it right here. And this can be attached to him so he can wear it on his back. Very, very cool. I like that. I'm just gonna take this off. There's a cape hanging there. Just piling this up on the side. He looks good. He looks very, very good. It's probably like the best Chris Hemsworth likeness that they've done. Hot Toys. Any Thor that they've done. Maybe Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron Thor was a good one. But other than that, it was there was a little bit off with the likeness. But this is really, really good. Okay, so we'll do the accessories first. We have three pairs of hands. One pair of hands that's like open clenched so he can hold on to Mjolnir. Then he's got completely clenched fists, just like this. And then he's got relaxed ones, like this. And then he's got outstretched palms, like this. These are quite detailed. Got some speckling on the skin there, so it looks like a real hand. Very detailed, very, very cool. Then we've got a little lightning bolt here, which you can put onto, which one is it? It's this one. Put it on here. I don't have a screwdriver, so I can't put this in here right now. But it comes with batteries for this, so that it like lights up or it makes sound. I can't remember what it is that it does. But this just fits on here nicely like this. And there you go. You've got a lightning streak. Looks really cool. Very, very nice. Then, this one's actually quite heavy. It's like, it's it's made of metal. So it's it's quite hefty. That's a hefty, that's a hefty Mjolnir. He's got his Thor Ragnarok stand. Um, with the Thor Ragnarok logo on the front. And it's just one of those standard crotch, crotch grabber stands. So that goes there like that. This can go up like this, just to hold him in place. And you can stand on it like so. And he stands perfectly. Looks so cool. Absolutely love this Thor. Very cool figure, very, very detailed. Loads of different things going on here. You've got his boots at the bottom with these little pieces that kind of, they move a little bit. And he's got these rubbery arms. It's like the, the it's like silicone. 
or latex or something. I don't know, but you can you can squeeze his little muscles there, and he can pose quite well. Bendy arms, but yeah, he's very very cool. And I'm gonna get him closer to you so you can see how detailed his face is. Look at that. That is that's an epic, epic looking Thor. It looks just like Chris Hemsworth. I'm so glad that I managed to get it because it's so hard to come by now. He's a really difficult one to get hold of. But look at all that detail on his armor as well. Very nice. And then there's this little pleather, suede pleather flap down here. Got his trousers. And there's his boots down there at the bottom. If you pull these up, it looks like he's got really skinny ankles though. So keep him down. But he stands on his own. Looks really good. He's so cool, I love it. Right, let's put this on here to see what this looks like. And he is going to join my Spider-Man and Captain America and stuff. So, figure out how to do this. Oh, he's got a magnet on his back. That's cool. So, this is literally just for show. The chain is just for show. It's magnetic, so it just goes onto the back just like that. And then you use the chains to make it look like he's holding them. Where are those instructions? Got instructions here that tell you how to do it. Don't want to do it wrong. Okay, I figured it out, done it. The back is attached now, looking really good. And he looks awesome from the front because you can see those horns sticking out at the back. Still stands all on his own, looking good. You can remove his cape as well if you want to get rid of the cape and just have him capeless but I think the cape does make him look a bit more like Thor because he does wear a cape in most of his his outfits. Apart from, it was Infinity War. He didn't wear much of a cape in that. It was this and then, then nothing. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this Thor figure. Crazy detailed, very, very poseable, and the likeness for Chris, M Chris Hemsworth is spot on. Very cool Thor figure. But let's take a look at him without the cape on and see what he looks like without the cape. Now I'm definitely going to display him with the cape because I prefer the whole look of the cape. But you can see how detailed those arms are and how strong and muscly he looks. Really love this Thor figure. Definitely my favorite one that Hot Toys have ever released. I am very tempted to get the Endgame Thor and the Infinity War Thor because I feel like I need to up my Thor game as much as I possibly can. One isn't enough, but it's a good starting point. So yeah, this is my Thor. I'm happy with him. Oh my God, almost, not quite. Love him, absolutely love him. The detail in the hair is amazing too. So take a look at that hair. Really great detailing on the hair. Even the back of his outfit behind the cape looks really good. And then there's the detail on that belt as well, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, so that is Road One Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I freaking love him. If you love this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs up anyway. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos too, because you might like them. Have a great day. Oh God. Bye. Bye. Now we're going to put him back together.